Friday, happy Friday, okay? Happy Friday or whatnot. Let me pull out my information so I can have it ready for when I go in on this fool. Y'all, who the f- do Stormy think we are? <laughs> Stormy, slavery is over. Y'all know what this remind me of her. Um, <clears throat> before I get started, let me tell y'all everything on the channel is alleged in my opinion and for entertainment purposes only. Okay, like this a video, like this live, uh, subscribe to the channel. Okay, click the bell notifications because y'all acting real funky donk, fun, stank a dank, stank a dank, and funky, funk a dank with your little views okay and subscriptions why y'all acting tight with your girl i ain't talking to y'all that's typing in the chat because i know y'all subscribed okay because <laughs> it's on subscriber only all right period poop cookie you want to say hi real quick okay Let's see what's going on here she still got her blue jean jacket on she's still bad to the bone let me see here. You want to say hi to the folks, Cookie? Is that a yes or a no? That's a cute little picture of me and Cookie. <laughs> Cookie's hard back around so I get a picture. Say cheese. Show them your nails. Y'all see Cookie Nails? <laughs> Get in there. <clears throat> hey, y'all. Hey, everybody that came on there. Hey, sis. Uppity. Uppity in the chat. Man in the chat. In case somebody want to get out of control. Okay. We got some for fools like you. All right. So, for anybody that's wondering... What the hell is going on? Y'all, we talking about Stormy. And her line with with her CMO, COO, LIOO, we don't know. Okay? That's to be damn determined. But we about to find out, okay? Because, so, you know, people been going in on Stormy. And rightfully so. You know what I'm saying? Now, I know it is some people that, you know, try to take stuff a little overboard. But at this point, we can't say it's really overboard. Because Stormy wasn't sending people that shit. Like, flat out. Like, it wasn't happening. And I can't say I've had that experience because I didn't have that experience when I ordered from Canvas Beauty. When Stormy first came on the show, everybody was ranting and raving about her products and how she became a millionaire and things like that. I ordered one of her bundles. I think it was like $89. I ordered the bundle. I got mine in like a week or so, maybe. 
I said before several times, her products are damn good. Like her products are good. So that's why I was so disheartened and frustrated that she would let shipping and bullshit like that overpower the quality of her products. She got something good on her hands. Give the people they shit. Like, so I know she was successful before the show came on, but she had shipping stuff before the show. So I'm assuming that when the show came on, people were supporting her and then they wasn't getting their stuff. So they were complaining about it. Some of them were millimeters, some of them were not. Um, I do know someone personally that ordered from her that did not get their stuff until I think she said December of 2023 that she ordered in November of 2022. Because she liked her products. She made two different orders. One of them came maybe in April of last year. And one of them, the other one just came in like December. So if people are talking about that, that's not down in the black business. That's holding a fucking business to task. Because we, we got to stop comparing certain things where it's no comparison. It don't matter if we'll do that. We do the same shit when we go to Walmart and something messed up and we go to Walmart and they and they supposed to ship our stuff and they don't ship it. You talk crap too. I talk crap to Amazon. I talk crap to Walmart. Anytime when my stuff is supposed to be here and it's not here, I'm on your ass. Okay? I usually don't have that problem. And, and usually it's not a lot to people to complain about because when a company like Walmart or Amazon or whatever the case may be, mess up your shipping, they let you know like, okay, this is what I'm going to accommodate you with. Okay, I'm going to give you this for your inconvenience. We don't have to hound them down for our damn money because you got a no refund, but you also got a damn no shipping policy as well. Seem like you don't damn ship the shit either. Okay, so what about the and, and the people, the, her majority of her customers with her hair stuff are African-American. Are that safe to assume? 90 to 95% is African-American. So is, is it bad for a consumer to complain, a black consumer to complain about a black owned business that's keeping their fucking money like you a damn bank and not giving me shit for it? That's not right. I don't give a damn what color your ass is. At this point, it's about to be black and blue, okay? Because I'm going to fuck you up. Give me my money or give me my products, okay? Thank you, Bridget J914, for the $5 super chat. Tell Stormy ain't nobody scared of her or her COO. Oh, not crook. <laughs> Clear boy. Yes, it seems like I'm, I'll get to that in a minute. So, yeah, so we have to support our black people in their businesses and stuff like that because we support other races and bigger businesses too but the problem is with a lot of black businesses is that most of them think that black people are just supposed to support because they're damn black no you i don't give a damn what color you is i'm not buying shit from you i'm not buying a piece of shit from you you can come up and sell me some damn shit i'm not buying it i don't give a damn okay And then the thing too with Stormy, <clears throat> when she start well not started, but when she continuously had these shipping issues with getting people their stuff, instead of shutting the shit down and saying sold out so that they can get a handle on that back order, 
Because she done lied about three, four, five times about that back order. But it's people still on that BBB complaining. So instead of her putting sold out and catching up on your back orders, you just kept damn near giving the shit away for free. But I guess any money was some money because people was paying, you know, half off of the stuff and they still wasn't getting that shit. To me, that seemed like a money grab, especially when people has also advised that they have called your customer service and have gotten nowhere. And we're going to talk about that when we get to Kyle's comments. <clears throat> um, we don't give a fuck how many items you have sold. We give a fuck about how many you done shipped out. How many customers have received their shit? Kyle, out of the 600,000 that you said you done did over TikTok, how many have gotten their products? And that Caucasian girl said that she ordered her straight from your website and didn't get it. So that the TikTok rules wouldn't apply because she said she didn't trust the TikTok shop. Now, I will say this. She probably does ship out them items on TikTok. Because whatever TikTok got going on, it must be like that. And I'm going to say too, when I ordered my stuff from Stormy, um, the Canvas Beauty stuff, I ordered it through PayPal. I paid through PayPal. That's one thing I told y'all I do that with all companies. If they don't have um, a PayPal account, I usually don't even order from them <clears throat> because I don't want no shit. Um, if they don't, if they can't certify with, with PayPal, I don't want them because that means usually that they own that bush. Okay. That means that they ain't trying to make their stuff right because PayPal going to get you your money. Okay. They're going to make sure them people, if them people don't send you those stuff, they're going to get their money and they're going to take that money back from that company, however way they got to. So PayPal, um, don't be playing no games with them, okay? So that's why I like them, you know? So they don't play no games. So I ordered mine through PayPal. I don't know if that was the reason why I received it and a lot of other people didn't, but... Anytime you order from certain places, order from PayPal. With TikTok, I told y'all, I, I, I just recently started going on TikTok a little more because before when I made that account a couple months ago, every time I went on there, I was ordering something and I have a real bad shopping habit and I need to stop. Like, I need a new house. Okay? Because... Me and shopping ba bags and boxes are busting out of this one. Okay? But I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. One day. Okay? I'm going to slow down. Okay? So, yeah. So, Stormy, like, all this stuff you keep talking about, about people hating on you and all of this stuff. Like, nobody's hating on you. They're calling out the shit you do, like the shit you doing, and it's not right. And just because you say that this is what you're doing and that's what you're doing, it's not, it's not, that's not, that don't mean shit. We don't give a fuck how many things you sell on TikTok. If you're not getting people their damn products, again, why it doesn't, that don't matter. Answer the questions about this shipping issue. Okay? So let's get to this. Um, so Kyle, the person that she had on the show last year, he decides to jump and shop reality TV comments. And um, I mean, he, he laid some shit out. Probably was lying, but 
he laid some shit out and I'm inclined to believe that it wasn't him. I think it was stormy. The reason why I think it was stormy is because he kept saying black owned business and black owned this and black that. Um, usually white people, when they're talking about something like that, they don't keep saying, they don't, they don't mention black owned because they know it comes off as racist, you know? So, and you not black. So what the fuck do you mean? Child, this can't win for losing. So <clears throat> I, I I don't really think that it was him that was on in those comments. I don't think that was him. If that was him and since he's supposed to be so professional, um, I don't think he would have kept referencing black owned businesses and all of that type of stuff because somebody called his ass out and he said he support. Um, okay. Give me a second. Up. I got it uppity. Oh, yes. Okay. All right. Okay, let me get to the super chat. Thank you, Gemini 1958, for the $10 super sticker. Y'all like that too? Ew. Okay, so I'm going to read his stuff, but I want to go on this. Um, I hear buzzing. Cookie, you got a cell phone hitting up in this mofo? I know I hear some, a phone buzzing. Oh, shit. My other phone is up there. Uh, And it's powered up, so that's why it's doing that. Let me go on here. I'm about to show y'all. Okay, good. It stopped. Um, what this reminds me of. Oh, I think she might have took it down. She took it down, but I think I did a screenshot of it. Yeah, let me find a screenshot. Y'all remember when Shownuff was talking about she was suing people? And when Shownuff was talking about she was suing people and all this stuff, like every time she went live, she was coming on talking about she was suing people and all of this stuff. And then <laughs> she posted this picture. She has since removed it. But she posted this picture on her Instagram page. And she said, it is time to go to court. We sent you a letter out, but you did not reply back to it. So to you, it's time to go to court. Did not apply back to the judge order. Now you got to come all the way to Bessemer to court. Shame on you. So I got my lawyer team together. Do you, LOL. So that to me 
when Wanda did that, to me, it's saying that just because you at the court and you just took some pictures with some random white people, because we know if it's no judge order, if y'all ain't even been to court yet, um, you said you don't even live in damn Bessemer. So just because you take pictures with white people, we're supposed to assume you got lawyers now. Like, you see how ignorant that is? And this is what this situation right here is pure fucking ignorance. To think that, I don't know if this is something that you and Wanda think from the South, um, because y'all born and raised there, that all black people are scared of white people or something, or because a white person say something. Kyle said the same lying bullshit that you said. And we don't believe you and we don't believe his ass. Like, how fucking stupid do you think we are? So when all else fails, you present a Caucasian guy to us? Like, that's supposed to be what? What does that mean? Stormy. Like, what does that really mean? Just stupid, right? <sighs> hey, Miss Juanita. She wants she wants to outdo Melanie. That's her goal. There's more than one brand of bread in the stores to choose from. Correct. That's their problem because they always bringing up Melody when nobody ain't even talking about fucking Melody. We talking about you and your shitty ass business practices. We ain't talking about Melody because her business practices ain't shitty. While your mammy keep getting online talking about male moving products out her house, but yet they still moving. Yet your ass in a 30,000 square foot property building warehouse and people are still complaining about not receiving that shit. I don't give a damn how many workers y'all got. If y'all have done 600,000 orders in the last couple of months or eight months or six months or whatever the fuck it is, you need more than 60 motherfucking people in the warehouse. Period. Point blank. And from that job application that you had on that damn... <laughs> On Outdeed because Indeed Show didn't even publish that shit. Okay? Indeed said this shit is indeed some foolishness. We ain't putting this shit up here. Who the hell go? Child, just call your damn friends. Call the people that's out there with them signs and say we'll work for food or whatever the damn case may be. Snatch their asses up and get them in that damn warehouse. Pay them a couple hundred dollars or a cup, pay them a fifty dollars a day and 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 let them slide by with the wages. Whatever you gotta fucking do. Because 60 people ain't enough for that. And then y'all still gotta have y'all asses in there too. You need a major operation. This ain't sounding right. Okay? So, let me pull up his comments. So, let me share my screen. And we gonna talk about it. Okay, y'all see, so Shop Reality TV had breaking news, Canvas Beauty executive response to claims. Did she change this thumbnail? Because in even in the video, it says breaking news. How does she know Kyle was going to come in these comments? Hmm. 
let's see here. So she does her video. And if y'all haven't watched the video, go watch it. Um, Shot Reality TV. <clears throat> so Kyle slash Kyle dash Canvas Beauty. First of all, the account was just made December 6, 2023. Kyle looks like he just graduated from high school. So I'm not going to assume that he just had a fucking account on YouTube, just getting an account on YouTube um, a couple months ago. But I digress. So let's move to his comments. He says, thanks for sharing my message and for your unbiased video, Shot Reality TV. Do you mind if I post the transcript of what I wrote below as you read it for transparency purposes? Let's talk about transparency. Thank you. She said, of course, do what you got to do. Okay. So Kyle says, as posted and read in your video. Oh, so maybe she got it from some whatever he did it. Hey, Shot Reality TV. Thanks for your video. Your skepticism on the negative comments and for your encouragement to support Black-owned businesses like Canvas Beauty. Again, this is not given Kyle. Okay. I don't typically comment publicly at all, with the exception of filming for Stormy and for work. What? Like, what? You film one damn time, and we're going to talk about that shit in a damn minute. I like to lead a pretty private life. Then why did you jump your ass on this damn post? We don't, and, and secondly, we don't give a fuck what type of life you like to damn live. You was privately, because then nobody give a fuck about you after you left that damn episode, and you was exposed for being really not no canvas beauty worker. CMO, CFO, COO, C la la, whatever. But I did want to speak on some of the rumors, accusations, slander, etc., that has been swirling around recently. One, we have always manufactured, produced, created our body glazes in house. In what house? Like in what house? That oil that Stormy got. Now, it, remember when she said Kiki looked like Dark Queen Duck in the um, last season when they was talking about Kiki and the um, Home Depot stuff, the Crime Stopper stuff, um, that um, they were, it looked like they were in a warehouse that they were, um, you know, pouring, manufacturing that hair serum. And I heard that she does not like send that out or want that out because she don't want people to have all of the ingredients or something like that to it. I don't know. But that did look like they were pouring the stuff in those bottles there. Now, I can say that for the serum. I don't know about this body glaze. Um, because we know that, and I'm going to get Brownie to send me the link to that video she did way before, not way before, but uh, when Stormy announced that she was doing the body glaze, the donut one, because it was another company that had the exact same donut thing on the glaze and everything. And then after Stormy came out, we couldn't find it no more. So, um, I don't know about manufacturer produced and created the body glazes in house. Now, I seen that serum. Looks like that was in-house. But that body glaze, I, I don't know. We do not white label. What you do, black label? Since you just want to keep bringing up black on damn businesses. We do not private label. Period. Again, this is giving Stormy. 
this does not sound like something that the way that Kyle would talk. Stormy spent over a year on the formula. And even after launching, we, we have excessively worked to perfect the formula using only responsibly sourced palm. It's called RSPO. We had, who as fuck is we? Because I thought you just said in this last sentence that it was Stormy spent over a year on the formula. You a la- fucking lie. And 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 still with with this, people still work. Okay, let me finish. We have worked with chemists to test our glazes, though a chemist isn't always necessary. I don't know why that has suddenly become such a hot term recently in Love and Marriage Huntsville circle circles. Maybe because the motherfucker that's on Love and Marriage Huntsville that you work for, maybe because she tried to say to someone else that she had a chemist and it didn't in uh, people can't just make up products you know in a month they have to come up you know with years or whatever whatever so she the one said that she the one brought that up we already knew Mel had a chemist she the one tried to throw shade and dispute that when she said she made that hair serum in her damn kitchen or whatever the case may be so where was the chemist and if y'all talking about chemists as far as <clears throat> bad and bougie cooking up, oops, okay, that's a whole nother spectrum of chemistry, okay? So when you say chemists, are you just talking about like for fragrances and body glazes and those type of products, or are you talking about or whatever? Let us know, Kyle. And give us the name and the chemist that y'all worked with. Because I'm assuming like for, for these um, body glazes and stuff like that, like let's say like Karen from um, Potomac. When she was doing her perfume, that I think it's called Ever Hue or something like that, she was working with somebody with the scents and all of that stuff. Presumably a chemist. That's what they do when they do a stuff with the candles. They get with someone that does those scents and all of that stuff. I'm assuming those are chemists because they would know what kind of formulas go in this, that, and the other. We have explored custom partnerships with facilities like the one in our in your video. We decided against it for a variety of reasons. Then why the fuck did Stormy post it? Why did Stormy post the video? If y'all decided against it, for whatever reason you decided against it, why was it posted? A big one of which was continue to continue employing our staff and to create more local jobs in Huntsville. Congratulations, you're the great white hope. So Huntsville was going to go into a depression, or what you call it, a recession. <laughs> if Stormy hadn't came through with the body glazes, is that what I'm hearing? Is that what I'm hearing? Like, what the hell? Again, y'all just got extra employees. Them employees y'all showed last season, it was six of them, max. And then Junior got fired. So it was leaving five in that dog and a partridge in a damn pear tree. Okay? Y'all even had the little baby running around that motherfucker. And he not supposed to, especially if you whipping up damn chemicals in a damn laboratory or whatever the fuck you doing in the facilities. We don't order glazes from Alibaba or any other source. Those are dupes. They are new products, product listings. No, they not. Because again, the one product that was identical to Stormy's donut glaze was the same as somebody else's that had it before Stormy said she was doing donut glazes. 
that donut glaze. The first one she had, that the even the top of it was the same. The picture and everything. But listen to his lying ass. It's very obvious. It's not obvious. Those body glazes are not new. And those product listings are not new. I personally order quite literally truckloads of raw material. You the CFO or CMO, whatever the fuck you are, why are you ordering the products? Y'all don't have staff for that. And we create glazes in-house. In who house again? Why y'all ain't never showed us that process? Because the, the one that Stormy just tried to show, you just debunked that shit. You just said that was a dupe. We just moved into a 30,000 square foot warehouse and we're already starting to need a larger space. Y'all moved into that warehouse three weeks ago. So, so many people ordering it in three weeks that y'all now y'all in a new whole new space. And again, this right here, this 30,000, this is Stormy's verbiage. We don't give a fuck how many damn footage the damn um, warehouse is. Are the people receiving the products that they are ordering when they order directly from your ass? We are beyond blessed and thankful for this. See how he keep using we? Who the fuck is we? <sighs> Thank you, Bridget um, J for the um, 914 for the $5 super chat. Shout out to the great nose of Huntsville for saving the local economy <laughs> with her fruit scented Crisco. <laughs> Paired. Okay. Well, it is given that you injected something in the damn beeswax. Then somebody else put up a review that said they shit looked like it had been used. Had handprints in the shit. <laughs> Stormy, we cannot with you. Oh, oh, y'all. I got something. I got something for y'all. I got something for y'all. All I really want to see is that. I don't really need to be any of Hold a bad bitch need <laughs> Brownie got those to us. Okay, so we in been naive. All right. So let me move back on. Oh, let me um it's a super chat in y'all way. Let me move the super chat. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you, Bridget. Um, okay, thankful for this. Um, other blogs, pages saying they have we white labeled have zero proof. Again. Y'all main concern ain't about if this shit is fucking white labeled. The main issue that people having with it is that the shit is not consistent. Because some people said when it first came out, they were on it and that shit was right. They ordered again and that shit is wrong. One lady was on TikTok with, with the ones that she just had ordered and ones that she had already ordered because she just wanted to get some more. And they were two totally different colors. You can tell the other, the one that she, the new one had been cut. It's not the same potency as the original ones was. It was clear to see. It doesn't exist. Frankly, I personally, 
I personally think they know better and have alternative motives. What the fuck is the alternative motives? These Alibaba copycats of our products just popped up last week. No, the fuck they didn't. No, they didn't. It's one that was out longer than yours that came with the same fucking damn printout of yours. Except Canvas Beauty wasn't on it. Like, so it looked like y'all took their whole fucking concept. Because if this was original from you and Stormy, how the fuck did that other people have it before Stormy even put the shit out? Their jar sizes aren't even the same as ours. This is another ignorant ass motherfucking comment because who gives a fuck what size it is? You think when they made one size, they don't make them another size? You don't think that if I order from Alibaba, I can't say give me eight ounces, only want the eight ounces, or somebody else can order and say I want my stuff in 16 ounces? Like, when people say irrelevant shit like this, it's giving you fucking lying, and you deflecting, and you talking about some shit that we ain't even talking about. What about them fucking shipping orders? That's what we want to talk about, Kyle. It makes absolutely no sense to me that you the only motherfucker that it don't make sense to, Kyle. And we ain't asking for it to make sense to you. We looking at what the fuck it is and it's making sense to more people than not. It's like they've been watching Alibaba for an excuse to make negative comments. Now, why the fuck would they be watching Alibaba when it's been other companies that's been selling the body glaze before Canvas Beauty came out with the shit? And again, the donut one had the exact same motherfucking logo on it. Same picture, same graphics. So what do you think? Quit thinking more of yourself that somebody is just going to be watching Alibaba because I, it's other places that you can white label from as well. Idiot. That's why I, I think this Stormy. I don't think there's no fucking Kyle. Our fragrances are custom made for us that are safe for the skin at the high amounts which with which we use them. This is this is stormy. In my opinion, this is stormy. Our fragrance in house, our fragrance house is one of the most exclusive in the world. Now, where the fuck is this fragrance house? That is the most exclusive in the world when your motherfucking ass just started doing fragrances. When, 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 when this happened? And since you so hung up on a big ass warehouse and this motherfucking fragrance house that's so fucking exclusive, why don't you exclusively come up with a better damn shipping policy and return policy? And cut that non-refund shit out because if you got to try to have your shit at no refund, that means you know you about to be on that bullshit. And we very, and we very thankful to have such a close relationship with them. With who? The fragrance house? Ain't that y'all? I bet almost anything, the vast majority of products on the web, especially from individual sellers, use fragrances that aren't safe for the skin in general and aren't safe at the levels they're used. FYI for anyone who cares. No one cares, okay? Because I'm quite sure the shit has to be approved by the FDA or F whoever before you can put this bullshit out, which further proves that this shit was white labeled because you ain't talk about no damn since we don't got no chemists or nothing 
how the fuck it get approved for, for human damn skin usage? And how the fuck was somebody, why, how you going to talk about, especially from individual sellers, which to me, again, seems like a dig towards somebody else. Why the fuck are you even putting anybody else in this when you are supposed to be minding the fucking business that pay you from canvas? Don't worry about what nobody else got going on. We talking about canvas. You defending canvas right now. Do that. This again proves to me, allegedly in my opinion, that this is fucking Stormy and not no damn Kyle. Because we know that Stormy loves to bring up somebody else when we talking about her ass. And instead of spending that time diverting shit to somebody else, she acts like it's Stormy. I mean, she, she want to talk about Mel. And what male don't have and what male don't have a, a warehouse and that male kid swam in her pool. Like, that's what she want to talk about instead of these issues that people are talking about her business. Don't worry about male business because people ain't on here complaining about her shit. Body Glaze is an original work from Stormy. I thought it was just we. Stormy and I. I don't know that word. I did take what what is that? I I did to all sense. And maybe maybe create. Stormy and I created all sense and work and work on them for months. Hey, Miss Black Titanic. <laughs> y'all make sure y'all um give Miss Black Titanic page a um subscription as well and speak to her with all due respect. Oh, Miss Black Titanic, you might have to leave out the chat. I'm cussing the line. I'm a close your ears up, Miss Black Titanic, because Stormy done pissed me off. Okay. <laughs> Trying to insult us with this damn um, Caucasian guy like he's supposed to intimidate some damn body. He talking the same bullshit she talking. Sorry for the inconvenience. Okay. Um. Oh, here we go. Back up here. I personally designed all of the artwork and labels. You are a fucking lie. So did you design them from somebody else's design? Are they um customized to your design because it has canvas beauty on it? Because again, that other donut glaze had um the same thing on there. The same thing. I design, I personally design all of the artwork and labels with with her input and feedback, of course. Period. End of story. Someone duped us back in April. Question mark of last year. What the fuck is that question mark for? That person said herself it was a dupe. What the fuck is a dupe? Who was the person that duped y'all that came out and confessed? Other blogs have run with that saying we copied and did. Zero source of truth to that whatsoever. Then what happened to that person's stuff? Because that lady had their stuff. I think she had like a lemon one on there. That lady had those products before Stormy Star advertising that donut glaze. Now, I don't know what happened with it or whatever, but it happened.
Number three, to the overly tire point haters, again, this is sounding like Stormy. Always fall back on about Stormy still on people orders from 2022. I'd like to see their proof. Take your motherfucking ass on the internet, Mr. Customer fucking service. It's plenty of damn proof. What about from 2023 or 2024 at that? When I joined Canvas in 2023. Let me repeat that. When I joined Canvas in 2023. Now that brings me to this point. Now let me pull up something on that, okay? Cuz we got we we want to talk about this here. I'm gonna stop sharing for a second cuz we're going to be back to it. All right? So let me put that there. Get in the comments. Hey T talk with your girl. Y'all make sure y'all go subscribe to her channel and get her a subscription and a like. Now, I bring y'all to this. When Kyle appeared on our very lovely show, Love and Marriage Huntsville with Stormy Steele. Have I told you how much I love your house? No, you didn't. Um, I always appreciate you letting me stay when I'm in town. Yeah. Helping to. Let me play that back again. Last COO. Cap. Oh. Stay longer too. You don't have to come in and out. You need to come for like two or three days. I'd be like, yeah. you can stay for like two weeks. That's two weeks? Yeah. All right. Today I'm meeting with Cal. He's Canvas's EMO slash COO. Cal came into Canvas over a year ago. He's been very instrumental at. Let me share my screen really quick. Y'all heard that, right? Kyle came into Canvas a little over a year ago. Kyle just said in Reality Shop TV's comments that he joined in Okay, now let me share my screen. As far Thank you, Janice, for the $5 cash app. I'm going to play the money song in a minute. Give me a minute. Okay, so let me find the episode. This is the episode. Do we see the date here? November 11th, 2023. Kyle said on Reality Shop TV comment, he joined that canvas in 2023. This Stormy said on the episode in 2023, which we know filmed months before then. Months before then. So let's even say if this was filmed in... June or July of 2023, Stormy said in that video during filming that it was that Kyle had been with them 
a little over a year. So that means that he would have probably come into play around 2021, maybe the ending of 2021, beginning of 2022. I I I I just want to know which one which which one are we to believe? Thank you, Alf. Thank you, Paulette. Debunked. I'm just saying. Hey, Glam Rock. Y'all make sure y'all go subscribe to her channel and give her a like and subscription as well. And our girl Uppity. Don't let me forget about that. Anytime I don't mention Uppity, she does have a channel, okay? She's not just the best mod on YouTube, okay? No offense to drop the mic and did them, okay? Just kidding. <laughs> All the ladies in the chat, hey, y'all, period, debunked. Debunked. But I want y'all to finish listening to the part with her and, and, and Kyle, okay? Oops, come on as like helping to position canvas into our 2.0 era i really feel like i'm at a place now where i can step back and do yeah. things that i add value to the canvas with creative marketing you know like getting the brand out there more like i'm i'm happy to be able to do that that's what i want to celebrate this year you know like it's gonna be our five year anniversary so many companies don't make it to five years yeah. so i really want to celebrate i want to be like a big party of pastor i want to have like stage okay. i want to have okay. like maybe a little, little firework yeah. you know, you know? Okay. I, I want to do something big this year because Put the motherfucking orders on a damn firework and, sh and and maybe they might get to the customers faster damn enough. Put them on the end of them damn fireworks and they might get them. Okay? I need that energy. Yeah, because when I, when I came on, it was, it, it was a lot. You almost lost it all. Here she go with her fake ass crying. And I'm not just talking about the company. I'm not just talking about the warehouse. I mean, Stormy is so damn fake. She not sad, Kyle. You not either. To really understand like where Canvas was. I know, and like I feel like you can't. How old do y'all think Kyle is? Thank you, Glenn Rock. How old do y'all think Kyle is? That he came through canvas like a wrecking ball and cleaned all that shit up. It's Kyle, what, 1920? We know some people age fairly fast. He might be damn 12. Okay? And yeah, he just looked 19. <laughs> Let me quit with Kyle. <laughs> Kyle just got a baby face. <laughs> but I want y'all to see Stormy lying ass, faking crying. No tears. And then when I got on bed rest when I was pregnant, and they said, no, going left, left, and right, and all of that, like my signature's being forced. Like, it basically stole line. Y'all, y'all remember that picture that she had back there, Courtney? <laughs> Where did him at? Did him? <laughs> did him have been doing this picture, Courtney, back there like this? Oh, the picture while her and Kyle sitting there acting fake, pretending this damn role like she didn't have so many damn hardships. The only hardships your ass and had is you not sitting on people they shit and collecting they fucking money. But y'all study talking about how much money y'all collect, but y'all ain't talking about how much these damn people shit y'all shipping out. So much. And look at Kyle. From me, my family, because I had to start as zero. Let's talk about Canvas being financially strong because them fucking lawsuits y'all got, they wasn't all business related. Some interior decorating. 
You owing people from the damn temp services. You not paying them they fucking money. But they, they sent their people to help y'all. But you not sending them their money for your services. For providing workers. AMAX, UPS. You not paying none of these people. That's probably why they want shipping the shit out because you want paying their ass. Those freight trucks, all of that shit, home decor. They don't have nothing to do with, with this. Why you want paying them? And since y'all were so damn still financially strong, after all those people got down on you, you were still financially strong. I know you lie. <laughs> hey, Simply Winter from 4 for the 4 dollars Super Chief! <laughs> Say hey from Love and Marriage, D.C. Oh, my God. Love the bluntness. And that's on P. Winter. I see you over there getting the girls together. Even the little snippets I catch because I don't watch the show because I don't like y'all producer. But I don't hold that against y'all. <laughs> started watching it at first y'all say give winter some love let's put some snowflakes in the chat for winter ah! <laughs> i cannot let me see at winter talk do you have nail polish on you <laughs> no that's just my nail it's it's still out even though you know they longer i gotta go get them cut down <laughs> Ah, that is so sweet. Thank you, Winter, for pulling up on us. Child, y'all, we international love and marriage. International. That's what we go. <laughs> y'all know I don't really watch that show, but if y'all watch the show, a lot of them do watch the show, and they say it's damn good. My um gossip girl did them, dropped the mic. She watched the show and she say that show is damn good, but people don't like Carlos, so they don't want to support him. I'm sorry, Winter. I wish you can branch out on your own somewhere. What about the Tylers? Um, the Tylers, I didn't have a good impression of Jamie when... I watched the show and from the snippets, I don't like some of the stuff that I don't like his actions. I'll just say that. Um, I think arena is, is good and cool or whatever. Um, I think Ashley is gorgeous. Um, at first when I was watching it, I Ashley was all right. I didn't really care for her like that but i don't know i don't know maybe she misunderstood winter you tell us what what you think about the cast <laughs> brownie hey brownie brownie watch it too <laughs> y'all know i can't stand carlos <laughs> Yes, and I, I I keep it I keep it blunts around here, okay? Is it, it 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 is what it is, okay? I love it or hate it. I mean, you are gonna always know how I feel about you. <laughs> but I do have to tell Winter, Winter, you are gorgeous, okay? Like you are gorgeous, and like those quick comebacks you have, I love it. I love it. Like you never get out of pocket. You just, it remind me kind of like a male comeback. Like she don't have to get buck with you or nothing like that. It's just be sweet and simple. And sometime if, if you a little slow, you ain't going to catch it until you be like, I know you fucking like, what did she say? I like it. <laughs> Carlos. I thought she said that she, I thought most of the cast said they quit. The only ones I heard that didn't quit was the Tylers, right? Carlos said he ain't received no notices. 
I don't know that cast said they received notice of when that damn show was gonna come back on either. So they even. <laughs> I'll pull up for a chat anytime, dog. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to have to slide in your DM because I see you live earlier today or yesterday. We might have to put something together. Okay. Miss Wintow. Y'all check it out. I love it. I hate that people cannot stand Carlos. I hate that he's not shit. Um, sorry, Winter. No offense to your boss. Oh uh, yeah, the producer man or whatever. I know he ain't your boss, okay? Because you ain't no slave. But um, no offense, but I think that y'all show would do so much better with the proper exposure from the producer. And um, if he will pump that show like he pumps other bullshit in that shows, okay. Um, and then if he would be likable and and not have his shows focus on beating down women. Okay. Thank you, Danielle Davis, for the two dollar super chat. Oh, that ain't you. Sorry, Danielle Davis. <laughs> Thank you, Sheila Aaron, for the two dollar super sticker. Y'all know I like to sing. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. An interesting storyline. Mm-hmm. 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 T talk what you got. I totally agree. If they had different producers, they could have had a hit, even though they were not friends. I agree. I don't they don't have to be um, yeah, friends in order. I think it kind of <sighs> them knowing each other like it, it'd be like a catch because even with like we see how it is on love and marriage like they they were frenemies fake pretending like they was friends to each other before and it went to hell so i think that um if they don't know each other and they could get to know each other so they don't have any stuff from the past that you scared they're going to bring up and all of that kind of stuff. Um, I'll talk to her to get her on. Y'all want to see Winter? I told y'all, she quick with it. Winter don't mean cut holding no, holding no punches back. <laughs> Glad Rocky said you'll give him a chance. And it just says there will be a Melody Sheree Rogers conference in Atlanta this summer. We would love to see. It. Oh, now that would be great. That would be great. I cannot wait to get that date too, because y'all gonna see your girl at the next thing, okay? As long as long as long as things is is in order for my work, okay? They not rocking. Are they y'all think they gonna cancel? Because y'all know his um tour, the the date for New Jersey got canceled, but I don't know if that was because it was a Bravo event. Y'all, we didn't got all off um <clears throat> topic. Let's get back on topic. But yes, winter. Um, I'm quite sure they would love to have you there. Don't be a stranger. Hmm. Girl, and nobody knew. There was so many days I would wake up and I'd be like, I feel like I'm going to leave, you know? And it was like just the reason why I didn't just like quit. All this building, all this all this product selling, it's, it's truly to undo, you know, what happened in the past. I know you want to help your family and growing a company like this requires difficult decisions. And you and I, as leaders of this company, we have both an ethical responsibility and a legal responsibility to make the best decisions for Canvas. We cannot sit here and let other people take advantage of the company. No more. No more snakes. No more snakes in the garden. What if the snakes in the ownership of the company with your ass? I'm thankful for any experience that I have because it happened for me, not to me. And now in this season of like Canvas 2.0, like I'm so much better equipped to scale my company to the next level. And I would not have been had I not experienced everything I did before. 
And, you know, I felt like I was just dying for so long. Like, I want to feel like I'm living. I want to celebrate. I'm seeing such a character shift with you, too. And so much more strength, too. Yeah. I'm really proud of you for that. Because like, when, I, when I came on, it was, it, it was a lot. We will be at a spot one day where we're selling 10 million a month. And I'm confident we can get there. But we have to get there properly. Yeah. And we have to make sure that every single piece of the pie is correct. Right. Like, we're on our break way. by break. Slow and steady. Yeah. When I saw how much heart and soul you put into your products, into your company, into your family, I, I knew that's a good person. And I knew that's a good person that I wanted to, to work with for a while. Thank you. So what, what, what? Her and Kyle sitting there lying. We never heard of Canvas having anything but them two. So now is it, st is it even technically a black owned business when <laughs> Kyle is there? Yes or no? Okay. So let's get into this part. Here we go. When I joined Canvas in 2023, we just debunked that. One of the first things I did was go back in time. Now, what kind of motherfucking shit Kyle got going on? You can go back in time and correct every single pending or unfulfilled order there was. Kyle, you a motherfucking lie. When was that? December 31st, 2023? Which truthfully wasn't too many. So now y'all want to sit here and play in our motherfucking face. What did that better business bureau say? What did the BBB say? How many complaints was on that motherfucker? Yes, many were severely delayed from Black Friday 2022 from before I started working with Stormy. Now per Stormy, he has started he been there a little over a year. So you were indeed there in 2022 for the Black Friday sale. But they still went out with generous gifts as an apology. So how y'all making money if y'all giving away so many products because your ass ain't shipping people shit? To say Stormy still owes people money or is still missing order is not truthful. Many customers who claim that they that I verified had already charged back their purchases and received their money back. Did Queen Sheba ever get her shit? Can we ask her that? Did Queen Sheba ever get hers? Do anybody know? Put it in the chat of Queen Sheba ever received her order from um, Canvas Beauty. And <clears throat> oh, let's, let's, let's talk about this part. Many customers who claim that they, that I verified, already charged back their purchase. We accepted all chargebacks during that time. Kayo. Are you saying that as if it's a good fucking thing? Is that supposed to be a good thing? All them damn chargebacks. Up, you don't call my damn phone because you're going to make my other phone ring upstairs for a year. Okay. It might have went dead. That's probably why I stopped buzzing up there. <laughs> I got an uppity. Um, so the chargebacks mean that after not hearing from fucking customer service, the one you said that you 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 get right back on. After not receiving any response from customer service, no products, no refund. They called their bank. They had to call their bank to get a fucking charge back. 
That's what that means. That's not a good business practice that these people had to do a fucking charge back, Kyle. Slash Stormy. Storlyle. Thank you, Miss Z, for the $5 super chat. F Stormy. Millichine said someone told her Marty was in an impatient. Let me not laugh. Give me a minute. Let me go off camera to read that. Millichine said someone told her Marty was in an inpatient at the psych ward. Maybe that's why males had the kids for a minute. What? Y'all think <clears throat> not you can hear me laughing. <laughs> Y'all always ear hustling. What? Y'all, what do y'all think about that? Did Millichine say it on YouTube or her TikTok? I don't... <laughs> Y'all, I'm not, uh, <laughs> right, um, Justine Marie, <laughs> Coleslaw need to be in, are they in there together as a couple? Um, in no way, shape, or form am I laughing at anybody's mental health, but that's, like, it's so funny because like this is long overdue if this is true he should have been there like he's been not well oh my god glam rock i watched the where's waldo okay <laughs> and no i didn't find him <laughs> oh my god i thought the court was delayed yesterday I'm going to have to stop y'all from putting content creators in my chat because some of them um, <clears throat> I don't be wanting y'all to mention. So I might have to do a ban on all of them. Let me see. Are y'all serious? Wow. But not all like he needs to be there. Like if he's there, he's probably going to be there for a long time. He needs to be there. Um <laughs> Right, T-Talk, like, if I don't mention your name, don't name content creators, we're going to put a ban on mentioning content creators in the chat unless they in the chat or uh, I mention them. Don't mention them if I mention them. Uh, let me mention them by name. <laughs> Only mention them if you speaking to them in the chat or agreeing with something they say in the chat. <laughs> it be a mess, but you know what? I'm going to also implement that, too, because I don't be seeing y'all asses mentioning old when Tay talk over on them other people's channels either. Okay? When we had a little tea, I told y'all there always be some, I heard it from, you ain't heard it from nowhere but over these pots. 
okay um yeah it might i don't know i ain't gonna um Because in her alchemist did a reading on Martel. And she was saying something like, you know, like he ain't trying to fight for them damn kids type of shit. And I told y'all, I ain't got no tarot cards, but I've been seeing and saying that. That he didn't want them damn kids. That he, I felt like he was doing shit. And the court just was like, we not going <laughs> to. The court just was like, one week on, one week off. Oh, he beat the fuck out of the kids. One week on, one week off. Oh, he cut the kids. Oh, one week on, one week off. So it was like, it wasn't nothing he could do to have the judge change the damn custody agreement. And I feel like he was doing shit intentionally to lose them because he don't want to fuck with them kids, especially after he found out they ain't coming with no money. All they come with now is groceries. And like I said before, male better than me. Because if my kids would have called and said they ain't got no food at their damn daddy house, either you better, since you like to fuck everybody, you better take your ass out there and slang some. Or you better get the motherfucking kids some food or I'm about to call CPS on your ass. That's what's about to happen. I ain't sending shit over there to feed him and no damn dusty ass raggedy goat mouth ass bitch. Okay? Or they ass have had themselves at the damn soup kitchen. One or the other. Okay? As many hoes as he fuck with. He ain't got no food for them kids. Oh, no. My baby daddy could never. Okay. <laughs> Glenn Rock, the funny part is, it's all true. I don't know. <laughs> I know they so happy our kids grow. <laughs> Oh Lord. Uh-uh. That's what we happen. If if I ain't calling you for food when they here and I'm fighting and bopping, okay, then your ass better not be calling me or saying them kids better not be calling me. And then why the kids gotta call and say they ain't got no damn food? Why your disgruntled ass ain't calling? Oh, onion head ass. I can't trust them. Yes, CC. <laughs> Raggedy goat mouth. <bow. laughs> oh, no. No, no, Missy. E. I wasn't, it wasn't just di directed towards you. I was just saying. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, sorry. I should have not said CC. <laughs> I did the same thing, said so once to R. So, allegedly, allegedly, we were not there. <laughs> right. Allegedly, 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 y'all. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Z, for the tea. I don't. What do y'all think about that? If this is true, I feel like that is a step in the right direction. Um, because. It, it 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 was getting scary and bad. Like it it was getting scary and bad. And if he is in that facility, that further proves to that he not back on the show. Like that was his last source of income. He might be doing like um. Remember Legion? What Legion did? He went to the crazy house to have a place to stay. <laughs> 
<laughs> Do y'all think he went there to have a place to stay? Remember the girl T. Sarisa? When she said from the um who the, that I marry thing from TikTok? Remember she said the ex-husband um uh, checked himself in a mental institute because he ain't had no place to stay. Even though he clinically needed to be there. For real, for real. and that's how you can tell too when a person is insane or like really you know having some mental issues and when they plan around because when they get in them mental institutes and they're around people that's really not there they can't stay they straighten up real fast they get that shit together real fast But if you able to sustain and stay in that mofo, you belong there. Mm-hmm. Whether it was voluntary or involuntary, your ass belong there. You have a place in that damn facility, okay? Damn, Martel. But yeah, again, he needed. Don't believe that people you know how they like to play in folks' faces. Be careful with hearsay. Right. That's true. That's true. That is true. Y'all see the banner. Everything is a legend in our opinion. But um, it is very much so my opinion, my strong opinion, that that motherfucker needs to be there. Okay? Yeah. And uh, again, um, like what Cap Girl just said, people do put stuff on YouTube because they working with the ops and they want us to repeat that shit. Okay. So, yep. It's a, my little call me Swan saying there was nothing to eat at her desk and that he was gone to get the stepmom. Child, when I tell you I pulled up with an attitude and food, all three were there. I would have pulled up with 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 a can of whoop ass. That's the only thing they would have got to eat from me. <laughs> and I pull up and it's a batch there. Oh, I'm whooping your ass. Cause why you ain't got no food for these kids? Cause we know what you eating tonight, okay? Cause the strong down there. But no, no, no. These kids are hungry. They ain't eating the same thing you eat, batch. Chop. I cannot. I do not deal with this mess. I cannot deal with it. Don't call me at your daddy house until it's time for you to come home. Until you say you on y'all about to bring the kids home on Sunday night. <sighs> okay. Because it ain't nothing. Go get a pack of noodles for them kids. How much was they back in the day? Ten cents a pack? You can get ten packs of noodles for a dollar. Child, let, let a mofo call me talking about hungry. Let me quit having flashbacks, okay? Let's get right. A knuckle sandwich, period, okay? A damn witch sandwich. <laughs> let me get back to Stormy lying ass. Thank you, Miss Z, for the tea. Oh, let me, oh, let me play the money song because I didn't even play it for winter. I like it. <laughs> okay, so Kyle says, if you think Candace owes you something, please send us an email with your order number, name, email address. Why? So you can disregard it like you done did ignore the other shit that people done sent? I want 
to give you a refund or make things right. You can't make shit right from a year ago. Send me my shit and give me a refund. And then I'll think about a rewrite then, mofo. I was very thorough in correcting the wrongs from the past. It was a non-negotiable for Stormy and I as we worked to rebuild a new era of Canvas. If that was the case, if you came in and did all that cleanup, then why the fuck did she rebrand to Canvas 2.0? It wouldn't have been a need because you made all the people in 1.0 right. It was like she scooted over to 2.0 and said, fuck 1.0. So Kyle, you a damn lie on that as well. Now you urging somebody to send you something. Why wasn't y'all urging this shit or addressing this shit when it was live in action instead of coming on somebody damn YouTube channel and posting this damn dissertation? You ain't in court yet. My customer service team is amazing. To who? How the fuck you gonna tell somebody that your customer service team is amazing and you not the damn customer? You wearing the body glazes and you ordered the shit. In response to all customers within 24 to 48 hours, typically within 12 hours. So now we got three fucking time frames. I take pride in the team, in that team. What team? A recent video saying our customer service literally does not exist have received many responses from us. Again, not a truthful claim. Post the motherfucking responses. Post the email thread. Why Stormy didn't post the email thread from them girls then? It's easy to make up. It's easy to make up. <sighs> Again, not a truthful claim. On the topic, <clears throat> on the topic of other pages and their nasty, often hyenas <laughs> accusations about Stormy and the business that I've been seeing for the I've been seeing for the past year. It has passed the point of, and in my opinion, for entertainment purposes, disclaimer, it's slander. It's damaging to Stormy and damaging to what Stormy, myself, and our now 60 plus staff work on every day. She doesn't understand it. Who gives a fuck? We don't understand it. We can only report on what people are saying about the shit. Kyle? Ain't nobody making this shit up. Those people that's reporting on this shit is not millimeters. Those people are people on TikTok that she done blew up on. They're giving their opinion on there. Millimeters might be going on there and pulling the information and posting it on their fucking pages. But we're not making that stuff up because she got stuff on there that people giving good reviews about the body glaze. So are those made up too? Or just the bad ones? Don't they have a fucking opinion if they the consumer and bought the shit? And that you have an amazing customer service team is up to your fucking interpretation. And that's not something that a business person would even fucking say. Because especially with all the complaints that this fucking business has had. Oh, because you say your fucking team is fucking amazing. You haven't had any damn complaints. So what does you, what do you think in that team is something mean to us? The ones that's buying the products. What does that mean to us? Nothing. That's like, I'm going to say, my channel, the best channel on YouTube. What the fuck does that mean to somebody else's channel? They don't give a fuck what I think. It's my channel, so I'm going to say the shit.
Her family doesn't understand it. I don't understand it. Our staff who just want to work and work hard and get customers their orders don't understand it. Then maybe they should focus on working hard and you should get your ass in that fucking um, thing because I ain't never seen Stormy recording your ass in that fucking factory one day. Um, you was there at a meeting with her. You ain't even have a, p- a fucking paper clip in front of your ass. But you having a fucking business meeting. Laptop closed. On Stormy's end, you ain't got shit in front of you, but you gonna grab the tissues that she had right next to her to give to her. Then she wiping her eyes, claimingly that got tears in them, on a white piece of damn um, handkerchief that ain't got shit on it, and she got a face full of makeup on. Yo, it was waterproof. Sorry. We have sold nearly 600,000 body glazes on TikTok alone in the last eight months. These numbers are public. We have to ship our orders every within uh, three days, three business days, or we will be kicked off of the platform. This is all public information. So accusations that we copy others don't ship. Now, see what copy orders got to do with this? What do copying orders have to do with fucking shipping? And 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 then the shipping policy for TikTok. Don't ship orders. Old people money are fraud, are a scam. It's slanderous, especially to make those accusations with no proof and frankly knowing better. The only motherfucker that's on here that's claiming to know better is you. And you work for the company. The consumers say something different. And all of that shit. It's up for public public opinion. You can send every one of these fucking orders out, but it still does not erase that you wasn't sending them out before. So that would still make that shit fraudulent to people when you constantly having sales for products, but you can't get the people products that already ordered the shit that called it a scam. Because again, you're taking people money and not sending them they shit. It's not slander. Because whether it's true today or was true yesterday, it still rang true. My rhetorical question to them are why? Because people haven't been receiving their shit. Maybe you don't like Stormy or love Marriage Huntsville or whatever reason. We don't give a fuck about Stormy. We just want Stormy to send the motherfucking products out to the people that's online complaining about not getting that shit. It ain't got shit to do with liking Stormy or not liking Stormy. Okay? Because Stormy could have very much so been not likable, but wouldn't nobody be able to say shit about her shipping shit or her products or her fucking customer service or her fucking business if it hadn't have been put out on the fucking internet. Okay? People didn't like Tiffany on the show. All they could do is talk shit about what they didn't like about Tiffany. Then nobody said shit about Tiffany business Ackerman. Because it wasn't shit out that was negative about her business Ackerman. People don't like Melody. But what else? They talk shit about Melody. They don't say shit about her business Ackerman because they see that shit popping. They don't have all of those complaints from people that buy shit from Melody. So it don't matter if they like or dislike Stormy. They cannot like her if they don't want to. That's their fucking prerogative. And they also can talk about her fucked up ass business acumen. That's it, Kyle. That's it. <clears throat> The show is for entertainment purposes only. It's not entertainment when somebody is on a fucking show claiming about making all this motherfucking money, but they still got a deficit of people that ain't got their fucking products. So now you got the product and you got their fucking money. That shit ain't entertaining. Why are you trying to tear down a black owned business? All that we shit. The business ain't black on no more. And why have you been actively trying to damage a company's reputation that likely has nothing to do with you? 
What? What the fuck do you mean that it has nothing to do with us? What do they, what do male business got to do with Stormy Mama? Or Stormy? What do her business got to do with that? But don't, don't every chance her mama get, ain't she on the internet talking shit about Melody selling products out her home? Huh? I genuinely like to know. You would like to know a lot of motherfucking shit. And we genuinely like to know where the hell them damn customers damn orders are. Shit. Back last year. Or whatever year you came in. Thank you, Shot Reality, for staying out of this recent witch hunt. Witch hunt? Again. If this is Kyle... This is not a good look for a Caucasian man to get his ass on a fucking internet full of African-American women content creators calling shit a witch hunt. I, I'm not liking where this is going. This is again why I don't feel this is Kyle. Because again, a Caucasian man should not be calling a group of black African American women shit because it's given a conversation that you're saying that we just talking shit, that we dramafied. That what the fuck we saying, you minimizing our fucking actual complaints. And I don't like it, Kyle. So because you get your funky face ass up here and say something is irrelevant, that means that what the fuck we saying don't fucking matter? Kyle? You're calling the shit a fucking witch hunt when people just trying to get their fucking products because they tried to support a black owned fucking business? So now fuck people that lost their money? Don't have their money? Gotta waste their fucking time calling their bank for a fucking chargeback? Because your fucking business, your black-owned business is claiming, oh, we're gonna get the stuff out, or we gotta wait for a uh, Caucasian cow to come to, um, to save the day, to get your orders out until he comes on board? You fuck you. Kyle, your ass on thin ice. Thank you, Sheila Aaron, for the $20 super sticker. Let me hit y'all with the one time for the one time. Check. Money. All I really want to see is up. I don't really need to be any dumb. All a bad bitch need is up. Period. Okay? <sighs> Kyle, you know what, Kyle, since you got your degree and you're so motherfucking smart and you saving the damn day, Kyle, let's invite Kyle on um, Gossip Girls Tuesday. Kyle, bring your ass on Gossip Girl Tuesday. Can somebody tag Kyle? I'm going to tag him in the comments. See if he want to... Um, I'm going to tag him on the video. See if he want to come on Gossip Girl um, Tuesday. So we can talk about this. This witch hunt shit. Because again, what I'm getting from this is that this Caucasian man is saying that us black women are full of drama. We doing a witch hunt because we putting out the shit to the fellow black women to be cautious of this person that's seemingly 
defrauding people and not sending out their shit. Or when they get it, it's not the shit that they ordered before. And that's one thing I don't like when a black woman's voice is scrunched down like it don't fucking matter. We get that enough, Kyle. Thank you so much, Deborah, for the $20 super sticker. Y'all, I like these super stickers because it's 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 calming me down from Kyle ass. I can't trust it. Tell them that it's in my jeans. Money, money, green, green, money's all I need. Money, money, green, green. Period. <sighs> Let me finish this off. A witch hunt. Yes, Uppity. White women accused of witch, witchcraft during the witch hunt were more often than not jailed or confined to their houses. Kyle is underage. You need permission to slip from your mother. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Kyle looks like he's no a day older than 19 years old. Stormy, how much did you pay that boy to come on there to act like... like ugh. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Who said Boo Boo Kitty? <laughs> I'm going um, to add him on this um thing. I'm going to add him um on this video. To see if he want to come to um come to um yeah because i don't even like even like when black titanic had um came out after he came on that show he was like he was something at some other little place or something like that like some kind of marketing person or something like that at, a, at another company it didn't have nothing about no damn canvas beauty on it I don't want to see you or anyone for that matter dragged into libel slash defamation issues, but there comes a point where it start is starting to affect the morale and livelihood of my team. Motherfucker, we don't give a fuck what's affecting the, the more. If, if it wasn't true, it would have no effect on the shit because people would be able to be like, well, I ain't had that with Canvas Beauty. What happened? More people will be saying that than people complaining because we know in every business it's going to be a complaint or two. But this has been beyond that. Okay? But again, y'all only want to boost about how many sales y'all got. Y'all ain't boosting about shipping that shit out. How many sales y'all got with UPS that y'all done sold out and, and, and shipped out? Give us that, that quota. Damn it. And we don't give a fuck about the livelihood of your damn team. Um, if they if they in that bitch, if they still ordering that shit, they in there working. So what we said ain't got shit to do with them if the shit wasn't true. And Stormy and I didn't work tirelessly day in, day out, day in, day out for people online to muscling and make rumors up. It's inappropriate and it stops very, very soon. Says who, motherfucker? Who the fuck you gonna stop, Kyle? Like, that's the part I'm fucking concerned about as well. Who the fuck are you going to stop? When is it gonna stop? It ain't a fucking rumor. The motherfucker played the video of the girl saying the shit. All of the shit that people have played has been from... Other platforms, Facebook, TikTok, all of that shit. It ain't just like you just coming on here. I heard this, this, that, and the other. Like, ain't nobody doing that shit. Motherfuckers posting shit. They pulling up your fucking BB view. Has that rating changed? Let me pull that shit up. One second. Let me get Bridget's super chat. I, I'm, I'm, 
this is gaslighting at its best. Like, this is ridiculous. And Stormy and Kyle ought to be ashamed of themselves. Thank you, Bridget J914, for the $5 super chat. I think Kyle should get an invitation to a Gossip Girl platform for an interview. And that's what we're inviting him for. Kyle, bring your ass. Okay? Okay? Period. Bring your ass, Kyle. Let me look up them um the BBB again real quick. Let me share this one real quick. Still a F rating, not accredited. They must have took some off of here because I know it was more from 2024 on here. But um, I received my body today. It smells amazing. Um, the only problem I had was the lid was not tight. And some of the glaze had come out of the paper, on the paper, and inside the box. Just wanted to know if it could be replaced. Thank you. Hmm. This is from February. Kyle. 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 Caucasian Kyle. Um, here's a complaint on the BBB just to see if they can get a, a replacement. Unanswered status. Unanswered. So should we send him this one? Maybe if he come on Gossip Girls um, Tuesday, we can talk to him and Stormy. What if Stormy come on the Gossip Girls? Um, and 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 address this right here because they said it, it smelled good. The box probably smelled good as well, and they want the rest of that damn product from that damn paper. They probably rubbing the damn paper on their damn body. But well, they just want a replacement because it smelled good. But see, like I'm saying, like people are not saying a lot of bad things. They are. But we know that when you say something good about a company, you know, some good, you got something good to say. Uh, you tell a couple people. When you have a bad experience, you tell at least seven damn people. I know I do. I tell anybody who would damn listen. I know I told at least 20 people about how the, the guy at the dealership, how I had to get him together. So, you know, and again, Stormy's products, the hair care ones are good.
Here's another one, unanswered. I am trying to cancel a 30-day subscription with Canvas Beauty brand. Stormy and the website do not have anything to select for cancellation. I sent the email, sent emails to two different email addresses linked with Canvas Beauty brand. It's no contact number I call and speak to anyone. I just want to cancel this subscription as of June. I do not want to continue. I want out of this subscription immediately. The redirect website, etc., is bogus. And nowhere on the site can you unsubscribe or cancel. Please help me with this issue. I also see it's other bad reviews with this business owner. Thank you. Is this a wish hunt? Unanswered. Kyle, wasn't you on board in 2023? Why wasn't this answered? This is damn six months ago. Eight months ago. It's almost June 28th. That's my baby birthday too. Um, Again. Here goes somebody with an order number. Unanswered from 2023 mr every fucking thing i cleaned up in 2023 you know what her rating increased her rating increased because it was a double F. So um, this it did increase. It was a double F. Thank you, Zeta. You ain't got a lot, Craig. <laughs> Bridget. <laughs> if you get in trouble, Tango will get you out of it, okay? <laughs> I can find some excuses, okay? Yeah, call a damn liar. All it's given is damn liar. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't see these other super chats. Thank you, Brittany Janae, for the 199 super chat. It's you saying the name Kyle is sending me. <laughs> Kyle! Get in here! <laughs> Kyle is a damn slick ass liar, just like his damn worker Stormy. Because at this point, I don't know who the boss or who the damn worker. Okay? Because I see Stormy old flat booty ass in that damn plant working. I don't see Kyle ass walking around there with no damn. Um, lampshade on his neck or shit. And Kyle, what you got to say about that? Because just in 2023, you had a damn OSHA complaint with the damn dog running around the damn warehouse. And, and, and in 2023, they had a little chance um, posted and recorded on, on um, Love and Marriage Huntsville when he at the damn warehouse. He ain't supposed to be in there. So I thought you were there to get the shit together. It's still giving mom pop. Okay. Thank you again, Bridget. <laughs> Jay, now up for the two dollar super chat. <laughs> Is that possibly a lawsuit, Caucasian Kyle? Correct. Because y'all see, he just said. Okay. So anybody that thought that he talking about that suing shit was a, directed toward them, get on his ass. There's your countersuit, <laughs> okay? <laughs> there is your damn countersuit with his slick oil ass line, slicker than fish grease. Talking about some damn, but you responded to every single one single handedly. Not on BBB, but he must have responded to a lot. Now, 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 now I got to give him the credit over credit is due because they had a double F. She had a double F rating. 
and this down to a single F, okay? So it still means that the, the F given fucked up, but it ain't double fucked up, okay? Nah, we get it's some progress going on, okay? <laughs> Thank you again, Sheila. Aaron for the five dollar super chat. <laughs> Cookie ain't working in your sweatshop under those unsanitary conditions. As Wanda say, a legion, a legion, a damn legion. Okay. I cannot take it, y'all, but we got something for y'all. Wait a minute. Come on now. I done hit the wrong button. Go back. Cancel. I like those songs, Brownie. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Can y'all believe that shit? So Kyle just blatantly lied. He said he handled all of that shit. If a complaint come in, he own their ass. Own it. Okay? Kyle said ain't no damn complaint getting past him and that customer service team. That's amazing. Somebody please direct Kyle to the BBB. Okay? Go back. And yeah, this little last piece is some kind of damn threat. I don't know to who. I don't know who he thinks this shit is intimidating to. I welcome any and all free speech. I motherfucker, we don't the, the constitution gave us that. We don't need to get this shit the fucking permission from you. Who the fuck you think you is? Thomas Jefferson? Was Thomas Jefferson middle name Kyle? Who the fuck is Thomas Jefferson, your damn granddaddy? The fuck? Stormy, you shouldn't have did this. You shouldn't have did this. I don't like the way this shit going. Who the fuck is Kyle talking to? I welcome any and all free speech. Bitch, you don't give us the right to no motherfucking free speech. We didn't have that freedom. Remember when the slaves was fucking free? The fuck you think you talking to? Like we can't do free speech until you walk on the shit. The fuck? I, I welcome any and all fair criticism on our brand slash company. Which one wasn't fair? Kyle, which one wasn't fair? What criticism wasn't fucking fair? Because where you're not saying where the people lying at. What a lie. Which lie was told? You keep saying people lying, but what lie? And I'll never see you doing no advertising. So I, I'm, I'm still wondering who the fuck this R and we is. I genuinely want to know how we can improve. And I think Stormy and I, you shouldn't be thinking about a motherfucking thing. You should know Stormy and I have shown that we've improved in the last short year. <laughs> Kyle, it don't fucking matter if you have improved in the last year. 
What we talking about is when the shit was fucked up that you ain't done shit about. That's what people is talking about, Kyle. What the fuck? It don't matter, Stormy, how you risen like a fucking phoenix or a fucking parrot. Whatever the fuck you risen as, it doesn't matter. We talking about the shit that was fucked up that you have not made right. The shit was fucked up. Like, bottom line. You can't just skip and hop over it. It happened. You haven't improved that much. You was just claiming you was getting 40,000 fucking orders in a day or a fucking week. And you just not buying a fucking warehouse. You said this shit last year. So last year, you had outgrown the capacity of the warehouse you was in. We've accomplished something I'm very proud of. Good. We glad your motherfucking ass proud because you should be proud because you the one making the motherfucking money off the people's shit that's not being fucking sent out or when they get the shit is fucking cut on. I am more than willing to have productive dialogues and conversation. There we go. So we're going to invite Kyle on Gossip Girls Tuesday. So y'all make sure y'all jump on them. Um, did them live, did them and get on her ass DMs, get on did them's ass. So she could not cancel gossip girls Tuesday because we want to invite Kyle. Okay. If stormy want to come, we're going to invite stormy as well. Okay. We invite both of them. Because we want to, let's have a conversation. Let's have this conversation. Okay? Let's have the productive dialogue and conversation. So we can identify what stories are you disputing exactly? Which ones are you disputing? And then we can move from there and see where the source is. If this person is on TikTok, did them. (laughs) <laughs> don't start no shit <laughs> look at that I'm like bitch you put me in shit I <laughs> right Coco Lee oh he done just said the hell with Storm with Canvas 1.0 and then now you trying to rebrand or something else and then just said fuck what you had going on before which again it was no reason for you to do that besides you didn't want to make good on the shit that you had fucking not sent them people because the products was fucking selling. And and the thing is, this is the saddest part about it and how I know y'all on that bullshit because that oil was $35 on her website. That shit, $18 at Sally's $19 $18 at Target at CVS so the person gotta pay double the price for ordering directly from you and still don't get that shit now how fucking pathetic is that if a person willing to pay double to order it straight from you so you can get that money and then you play them like a soybean burger. Shout out to Bondi Blue. <laughs> Paulette, I ain't going to tell you to buy them. <laughs> For that $7.99. Send them to me, child. <laughs> I cannot. I cannot. Okay, I better not catch them motherfuckers at Target for no $7.99. Okay, you talking about buying out? I'm buying them. And I don't give a damn. Stormy already made her money off the ones that's in the stores. Okay. Oh, you know what? That's what I should have ordered. I should have tried males. I'll see. Um, Oh, she got a 30% off, don't she? 
Okay. Right, and them $50,000 $50, giveaways. What was that about? I'm happy to answer questions, clarify uh, accusations, or provide no comment where appropriate. Appropriate for who? You? But wake, but to wake up seemingly daily to a new lie from who knows where that is damaging to our business is not free speech. Yes, the fuck it is. Just because it's damaging to your business does not mean it's not free speech, especially if it's not a fucking lie. Because if it was a fucking lie, y'all motherfuckers would have been suing fucking content creators. You wouldn't be having your funky ass on this damn thing um, acting like you're going to sue some fucking body gonna get in court and fuck around and find out you're gonna have your ass in another fucking lawsuit and and not even that too why don't people gotta come and repo your car for you to fucking pay them stormy like that's the shit that people talking about like and, and that's bad business you not paying somebody that had to put a lien on your fucking car. They done come and pick the motherfucker up. And then you pay the shit the same fucking day. Which means you had the fucking money to pay them people their money. Spreading lies that have no standing or evidence isn't just an opinion. They have evidence. They have the actual people that purchased the shit online giving their fucking reviews. That's not reporting. I would encourage those posting mistruths. What the fuck is a mistruth? What the fuck is you? So you, wait a minute, because you about to take your own fucking recommendation, Mr. Mistruths. I would encourage those posting mistruth, lies, or slander about Stormy and Canvas online to critically think going forward. That's another thing about she they trying to say is only millimeters. Uh, millimeters are reporting the shit. Millimeters are not making those fucking reviews because we are smart enough because we're critical thinkers. We ain't buying that shit, ordering that shit from your ass no motherfucking more because we see motherfuckers don't be getting that shit. Mistruth and lies is what you told up here earlier in this damn conversation when I joined Canvas in 2023. Y'all can't keep up with y'all motherfucking lies. That's the problem. Okay. Is this an accusation I really want to make publicly or stand behind? nobody's making accusations they're reporting on what the fuck people are doing reviews about and if i'm not mistaken sometimes the people that post the bad stuff they post when they see some good stuff i believe okay don't hold that to me but again i've always said and y'all can account to the shit i've always said that stormy products were good from canvas 1.0 the hair stuff was good and it works um the body shit i wouldn't dare order shit else because of what people is saying but since it's on tiktok i still won't order it because i don't like stormy funky ass attitude and i don't like how that she did customers and shit but tiktok when I order shit from there, I don't know if they ship the stuff to TikTok because it all comes together. It don't matter what I order. Um, it all comes together. Um, only one thing came separate, like my last order. I think I got um, like this bathroom set. I got that one day. And then like two days later, um, I got the package with the other six things I ordered in that package so like i said and it came in that that TikTok paper so i don't know if if it's all the same seller or what but it all came together
So let me see what y'all got to say in the comments. And then we're going to head on up out of here. Um... Hey, Brownie and Brown and, and did them. One second, y'all. Won't the bank um like follow up with her to get the money back from her, Coco Lee? But I mean, Kyle's saying that shit in the thing like it's a damn flex. Like he processed this shit himself. A chargeback? That mean I gotta waste my fucking time calling my bank to give me my money back. Oh, Miss Truth is the worst. But see no rules. Um, Uppity put Pacino in time out. Pacino got a smart ass mouth. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Uppy. Let, let Pacino live. <laughs> Not the glaze ain't glazing anyway. Yeah, that's the that's the thing. Since you know, since you claim so many people hate Stormy and this, this, and that, and they causing all this stuff, then how the fuck are y'all still making all these sales if 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 this is affecting your fucking business? Which one is it? Six hundred thousand million orders, or 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 we stopping y'all bag? The workers can't work no more because we spread mistruths, untruths, whatever the fuck he said. Like, which one is it? Make y'all mind up. Is it untruth or is it the fucking truth? <laughs> Even leave my electronic devices alone. <laughs> You too cute, period. Where where those give where them people at? Where the people at? Why they wasn't posted all on your social media so we can see that they got their money? Just asking for a friend. Kyle, Kyle, Caucasian Kyle. I'm not today. <laughs> Let me quit being racist toward that man. Oh, I can't be racist. <laughs> oh, my God. I might get rabies if I order from Stormy. Right. We don't know how many damn dogs walking around that bitch rabbit. You know what I'm saying? And then she got all them damn animals down on the farm. <laughs> well, the workers need to keep their fingers off of the products. Exactly. Didn't the person say they had a fingerprint in her shit? Like they done used and sample it on they self. Now Stormy, that's Kyle. Find that motherfucker. Find the damn slick ass motherfucker that's in that damn plant. Whoever in that bitch oiled all up like they got Crisco on them. They been in, them, in their damn customers damn shit. Handle that. She can't dispute it by providing that shit. That's what they try to do. But you unprove it, motherfucker, because you, I, it ain't received. It ain't been delivered. Then you have to ask your bank to refund your non-receipt. It's an easy catch twenty-two for sellers. Yeah, they do that because a company try to do that to me um, through PayPal.
show did. They be quick to try to provide the little ship and track and shit. I don't give a fuck what you provide. I don't prove I received it. Wait a minute. Can we even have Stormy out here? She got denim and brownie blocked. Kyle might block my ass. I'm going to add him in this video. Tell y'all that right now. All right, y'all. Let's get up out of here. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to see y'all tomorrow on Wednesday Talk 2. Damn, I didn't even put my shit in the chat. Put it Oh, shit. Wait a minute now. Let me share this real quick. Because this is what came up um, when I searched Kyle the last time. When Miss By Titanic had pulled him up that time, remember? One second. <clears throat> Thank you, T. Kettle. Kyle Evan Kauf. Evan Cole, Ivan Cole, founder of Innovate, Innovate Marketing, Focus. I saw I was right. It was some type of marketing thing. Focus exclusively on social media and management and optimization. So a, a motherfucker like this ain't letting Stormy come on social media acting a fucking fool. And they not bringing they funky ass on there acting a fucking fool. Clients include Google, AT&T, TikTok, ByteDance, Indeed, and 60 plus others. So you associated with Indeed and you let Stormy post that damn job application on there the way that shit was looking. Because Indeed said out deed. Indeed, get your ass off of our platform. Currently only exploring projects for social media ad management and optimization. Experience Chief Operations Officer Canvas Lifestyle full-time, February 2023 to present, one year, three months. Hmm. This is not right calculations. Because present would be one year, two months. Co-founder, Cracker JCK, full-time. See, this is all he had on his thing before. Los Angeles, California, um, three years, 11 months. Is the rebrand of the merger between... And Canvas Beauty was not on there when um I looked him up before. And I think Miss Black Titanic can attest to that too as well because it was not on there when she did a, a video on Kyle before too. Please have Kyle put his mama on the phone. <laughs> I'd like to speak to an adult, please. Parrot! Parrot! So you working with Google, Yahoo, all this shit, but you got time for this canvas beauty shit? Like, stop it, Kyle. And the, and the shit just looked fake anyway. That looked like some fake ass shit that they done put on the internet for Kyle. To be honest. Where Kyle go to school at? Because he 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 didn't went a far away to be so damn young. Let me quit age shaming um Kyle. Kyle is technically a social media bodyguard and cleanup man, basically a professional gaslighter. Correct, because that's all that little article said. And with all those um grammar errors and stuff like that, I'm gonna disagree with this as well. 
Kyle ain't shit. In my opinion. Kyle, I'm just kidding. Um, uh, we're gonna see you on Gossip Girls Tuesday, okay? <laughs> Y'all get Kyle on on, on there. And then his social, but that's the thing too. His social media on Instagram was like not even like major like that. He ain't had that many people. And it looked it again, it looked fake. I don't know. All right. Thank you, everybody, for the super chats. Let me make sure I got to everybody. Thank you, everybody, for the super chats. I'll see y'all tomorrow over on the other channel. I'm going to do my um, wig review over there on Wednesday Talk 2. I still didn't put the thing in here. Let me put it in here real quick. And then I'm going to pin it and let y'all good folks enjoy the rest of your Friday. All right. There we go. Okay. And we out of here. Thank y'all. Bye. Like the video too.